Hi, this is Marie with Bria Reese. I'm going to be showing you how to make these fun watercolor bookmarks. You can use them for Valentine's Day or just for fun. I'm only using three colors of Bria Reese watercolor inks today, medium magenta, cadmium yellow, and ultramarine blue. I usually put a few drops in a palette for easy access, and I can use them from here for days, so I never waste any of my inks. Here I'm using 140 pound watercolor paper. I've cut them into two inch by seven and a half inch bookmarks. You can round the edges with scissors, and don't forget to punch a hole to add a tassel or a ribbon for later. For the first bookmark, we're gonna start with a simple heart shape using the Bria Reese size six round brush and medium magenta ink. I'm swirling my brush in water and grabbing a very small amount of paint for this. And then I'm spreading the pigment with more water and adding more ink as I need it. And now I'm gonna add just a touch of yellow for a nice blend of colors. For this next heart, I mix the small amount of ultramarine blue with medium magenta to create this pretty purple. And now I'm also gonna add a touch of medium magenta here to create a cool blend on this heart. Here I'm gonna do half of a yellow heart, and then I'm gonna add in some medium magenta. One of my favorite things about these inks is the color bleeds. I always love how they turn out. And finally, a fourth heart with medium magenta and that purple that I mixed earlier. And here I'm adding some splatter for fun just by tapping my brush with some ink on it above the bookmark. Once it's dry, you can leave it as it is or add some ink accents like I'm doing here with just some simple outlines of the hearts. For the next bookmark, we're going to use a wet on wet technique using a Brea Reese water brush. I'm going to wet the entire surface of the bookmark with water. Then I'm going to add blue to the bottom, add yellow to the top of the blue, more yellow, medium magenta to the yellow, and then more medium magenta. And you'll see it creates a nice rainbow effect. And let it dry before you peel the tape. Now you can add words, names, or illustrations to your bookmark like I did here. For this final bookmark, we're going to create a heart balloon bouquet. I'm using the Bria Reese round brush again that I used earlier. Now this time I want you to just outline a heart first with mostly just the ink. After you've created that outline, I want you to just get water and pull the pigment from the edges and leave a small blank white space on the side so you can create that balloon effect. Don't be afraid to experiment with colors and splatter and mostly just have fun. Now I'm just gonna outline those hearts and add some string for the balloons. I really hope you enjoyed this project. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. 